This video will demonstrate the possibilities of Verscan 3D, a virtual laser scanner simulator. The motivation for this project is the lack of expensive laser scanners in many higher education institutions. Therefore, students without access to scanning equipment can instead be trained on virtual instruments using this simulator. Here you see the start screen of the simulator and the main menu. You can create a new project, open an existing project, access the settings menu and exit the simulator. Settings are quite important, especially if you are using a slower computer. In this case, you might want to lower the loops per tick setting and select a different speed mode. Once you decide to create a new project, you can give it a name, select one of the four integrated scanner models, and select the virtual location where you want to perform the simulation. Once you press start, you will enter the simulated environment equipped with your selected scanner. The simulator is based on the Unreal Gaming Engine and therefore the controls are similar to common gaming controls. You control movement around the environment using the W, A, S and D keys and you can manipulate the targets or scanner using the mouse. You start by placing targets, simply pointing and clicking where you want the target to be placed. You can select checkerboard or spherical targets and change the target type with the mouse scroll wheel. The selected targets will be visible in the resulting point cloud if you are planning to do a target-based registration. If you intend to do a cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration, you can skip the target placing step. Once you are happy with the target distribution, you can select the location to position the scanner. Simply point with the mouse and click, and the scanning station appears. The simulator offers two working scenarios, either a single station scan, or alternatively you can select several scanning positions and do a batch scan of all stations simultaneously. Once you are happy with the scanner positions, you can access the scanning menu and change settings. Just point at the scanner to open the scanning menu and here you can change things like the height of the scanner. And you can also change the position of the scanner if you are not happy with the initial placement. And you can also delete the station if you are not happy with the location. It is worth mentioning that the scanners simulate the real instruments. If you open the scanner menu, it will emulate the actual interface of the scanner selected. In this case, we have the Leica RTC360, where you can change the scanning resolution and other options using the real interface. Once you are happy with the settings, you can start the scanning. Once the scanning is started, you can see an emulated laser beam. And if you wish to check the area that you have scanned, you can press the C button to see the extent of the scan. Once the scanning is completed, 
a text file is created in the designated folder. It is a typical text file containing the X, Y, Z coordinates and the intensity values of your scan. And from this point on, you can import the simulated data into any software of your choice and perform a registration and any further processing you wish. In this example, the dataset was imported into Cloud Compare. Here you can see the single station simulated point cloud opened in the software. And both the checkerboard targets and the spherical targets are clearly visible in the simulated point cloud, where it's possible to use them in the registration procedure. Also, we can see the intensity values and even some noise as you would in a real life scenario. For example, we can see some tripods and even some noise from users passing by during the simulated scans. The simulator was developed by three cooperation partners, Jade University in Oldenburg in Germany, the Kiev National University for Construction and Architecture in the Ukraine, and Otto Friedrich University in Bamberg, Germany. The project was funded by DAAD, the German Academic Exchange Service. And thank you for watching.